I recently adopted two chinchillas and I thought it might be helpful if I sat here and told you just how much I've spent on them since adopting them. Just in case you're watching this and you're considering chinchillas as pets and you're wondering about the start of cost of owning them and buying them everything they need and more because the final figure adding everything up is definitely more than I expected or anticipated. I'm quite lucky in the fact that I didn't have a budget going into this and I could buy them all these nice things, but that final figure is definitely a lot more than I expected. So I just thought this might be helpful if you are considering them as a pet. So jumping straight in, the first thing I spent any money on is my first chinchilla, Nebula. And although I didn't technically pay for her herself, she was listed on a selling site um, by someone whose kid had just got bored of her. They obviously wanted to recoup some of their costs and I tried to haggle them down a little bit, but I did have to pay around 200 pounds, I think it was, for the cage and everything she needed, which turns out when I turned up and got there, that was not at all anything suitable, unsafe food, unsafe items. I've essentially had to go out and buy everything else that she needed ASAP, which has cost me a lot of money. So she didn't really come with anything besides the cage that I could actually use. I tried to haggle her down. I wasn't about to give her a full blown lecture in her house about how none of the things were actually suitable. I just wanted to take her, get her out of that situation and then go and buy suitable things instead. So I paid about 200 pounds for the single level little zoo Ventura cage and everything she needed. It didn't work out too badly because if I was to go and buy that single level little zoo Ventura cage, brand new by itself, that would have cost me 189 pounds. And there is a couple of things I have been able to use with them that she did come with like a metal sand bath and things. So not terrible, slightly annoying, but the first cost was 200 pounds for her, the cage, everything she needed. Then because she really didn't come with anything she needed or anything that was safe to use with her, I then had to go out and buy things ASAP, which did mean spending a bit more money to have this come sooner. So I spent £27.38 on Haybox. I bought Timothy Hay, a big bag of Timothy Hay that's lasted me quite a while actually. Um, treats, things like dandelion roots, herbs. I then also had to do a really quick Amazon Prime order for the next day. That was £23.62 and that included side selective food, dust for her dust bath and a thermometer for that room just to make sure that it was all a good temperature. I then was actually really worried about her because she had a very very stained dribbly chin and I wanted my vet to look at her as soon as possible so I booked in with my vet to come as soon as she could but I actually signed up to her package which is a really good deal that is a £95 a year subscription and that includes two free consultations annually, a free six monthly health check, access to remote consultations via a video link, access to their members group, and you do still have to pay a visit fee for the mileage. So I paid £95 for the year, and that does cover all of my small pets for the health check. But for that particular visit, I did have to pay, I think it was around £40 for her mileage. So add that on as well. Then because she essentially had an empty cage and no toys or shelves, I then had to spend £112 on a website called My Chinchilla for shelves, hides, a hay rack. Obviously if you're quite handy with woodwork, this is going to save you a lot of money making shelves yourself and hides yourself. That's where a lot of the cost comes from. But I'm not handy in that department and I'm too impatient to ask anyone else for help. So I've just bought all of her wooden items myself and that does bump up that price as opposed to going and making it yourself. So I spent £112 with them. I then spent around £30 in my own store, Boggle Buddies, on things like chew toys, willow balls, things like that. 
Then, and this is where one of the other big expenses come in, I got a pretty good bargain on this actually, and it does help that the room that she's in, and eventually when the chinchillas are in this room, it's not the biggest room in the world, so you don't need the biggest aircon for the airspace, but chinchillas do need aircon, whether you're lucky and you live in a house that's already got it built in, or like me, you don't have any aircon in the house and you have to buy a unit, that cost me £115, which for an aircon unit is actually not that bad. That I'm fairly certain I got from a website called Aircon Direct, and they sell repurposed, refurbished aircons that are perfectly fine in working order, and that saved me a bit of money because otherwise they can be about £200, £300, but you are going to need aircon. Also have a look on places like Facebook Marketplace, if anyone is selling them, that can save you a bit of money. I then got her some more herbs and forage and that was £3.99. Now at this point I knew that I was going to be adopting another chinchilla to keep her company and that meant furnishing a hole at the cage, which meant I needed more ledges and more hides for that. So I spent £61 on a website called Pet Ledges UK. Then I had to spend £45 on a metal carrier. I have got so many plastic carriers lying around, not used, but you can't really use plastic carriers with chinchillas because they're not supposed to have plastic because they chew it and they can ingest it. And if you put Nebby in a plastic carrier for even five minutes, she's trying to chew it and escape. So she needed a metal one for emergencies and vet visits. And I could not find a metal one cheaper than £45. I spent ages looking. I also looked on Facebook Marketplace to see if anyone had any old like metal cat carriers. Unfortunately, at the time, there just wasn't any. I was really hoping to save a bit of money there, but I had to spend it. So I spent £45 on a carrier. I then spent £5.80 on eBay on willow sticks, apple sticks, willow balls. Just because they were going through them so quickly, I found a bunch of bulk ones and paid £5.80 for those. I then spent £37 on the Tic Tac Wheel website on a metal tunnel. It is kind of pricey, but in theory, it should last them a long while because it's made from metal, so kind of worth the investment. I then had to spend £16 on two glass water bottles. Kind of overpriced, I can get them cheaper elsewhere. But again, that was another Amazon job, just because I needed them ASAP, because she came with plastic water bottles, and I needed to change them. So, spent a bit more money there than I could have done if I had bought them from somewhere else. I then spent another 20 pounds in my own store. I had to remember to keep writing this down because I do have a habit of just willy-nilly taking toys and food and treats from my own store for my own pets and not writing down that I've done that. So I wrote that down. I did take around £20 worth of toys from my own store, toys and herbs. I do get that cheaper at like a discounted wholesale price because I'm not spending like retail price from myself, if that makes sense. So that could have been way more money I didn't overcharge myself because there's no point. So £20 in my own store. I then already had a big bale of Bedmax bedding that I use with my rats, but I'm going to have to replace that because they're now both on the same bedding. So technically that's around £12 and I'm going to have that count because I need to buy some more very soon. I then spent £40 on a wooden dust bath that has a little window in the front from eBay. Did I need to buy that when they already had a metal dust bath that does the job? No, but it is very cute to watch them through the little window, um, so I had to do it. We're getting towards the end of this list now. I did then spend £40 on a secondhand Tic Tac wheel. I then also, obviously because I was adopting my other chinchilla Nimbus, I needed somewhere to put him, and eventually I needed the entire two-level cage for the both of them. So. I then spent £85 on the second half of the Little Zoo Ventura cage. I am super lucky that I have access to these cages at wholesale price. 
and I only paid wholesale price for that so didn't have to spend hundreds more on that second level. I can get them for £85 which saved me a bunch of money. I then saw these really cute jars to put their treats in, they're actually right here still. These ones I think they were about £10 before, um, not really a necessity but I wanted them so I bought them. Okay so the final cost that I'm going to include in this whole startup cost is the adoption fee for my second chinchilla Nimbus. Now if you were to get a chinchilla from a breeder it would be anywhere from £100, £200, 300 400 maybe. I only paid by adopting him from a rescue a £40 donation fee which I think is actually quite low for a chinchilla so that is obviously not including the three hour travel there and back to get there and I also did have to stay overnight in a hotel which I'm not including all of those costs because I wanted to go that direction of the country anyway but did obviously have to travel, people took time off of work, had to buy a hotel room, things like that all came into it as well but his actual adoption fee was only £40. So I think that is everything that I bought for them. There might be a couple of things here and there that I had just forgotten. I have also just had a big delivery from a business called Tiny Fairy Pet Stop. That I'd say is more things that I wanted for them. Things like big free roam castles that they didn't need as a startup to start with. So I'm not including that in this list but that's going to be even more money. So the final figure for the startup cost of owning chinchillas for me personally is £1,058.79. pence. So yeah, definitely not a cheap pet to start owning. Some things I could have got cheaper, other things I did get for cheaper because I was able to get them at a wholesale price. So that number could really vary depending on what you've got access to. But they are definitely not a cheap pet to start owning. Obviously some things like the cage, the wheel, the metal tunnel, things like that, I'm not going to have to buy over and over again. Other things like all of their chew toys is going to be a running expense because they go through them very, very quickly. One thing not incorporated into that cost is making sure you have some savings behind you just in case they have to see a vet. I'd say that figure is probably closer to about 1,300, 1,500, just making sure you have a good couple of hundred pounds saved, just in case you need to see a vet for whatever reason, making sure you've got that money behind you, which I have got in a separate savings account, so probably closer towards that figure, to be honest. But they're definitely not a cheap or easy pet, and I would hate for anyone to look at mine and think they can go and get them and not think about the responsibility and the cost behind them because it can be pretty high but I'm happy to spend it because they're worth it, they deserve it and frankly I have nothing better to spend my money on so that is the startup cost that I found personally when it comes to getting everything they need, starting to own chinchillas. About 1,200, 300, 500 pounds to start owning two chinchillas. But I hope you found this video interesting or insightful. Maybe you're just nosy about other people's finances. That is fine too. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please continue watching my videos because your girl needs to make some money after this. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. If you were wondering what my shirt said during that entire video, it says my tummy hurts, but I'm being really brave about it. And it's just another great financial decision of mine.